It's beer o'clock on Real Craft Beer. Today we have a beer from Mad Duke's Brewery. And it's a bottle of their Casanova Black Coffee Stout. And it's coming in at 6% ABV. I really like that label. Lovely label of lovely Holland. Look at that. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Lovely. Uh, there's the bottle cap, Mad Duke's Brewery. Without further ado, let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. Many thanks to... Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Many thanks to the lovely person from the Netherlands who sent me loads and loads of Dutch food, Dutch beer. Tremendous, tremendous, tremendous. Really, 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 really lovely. Uh, we got a two finger, three finger tan coloured head, jet black beer in the glass, good levels of carbonation. Rocking the beer back and forth. Yeah. You can see the carbonation chasing the, the head up the glass. Black coffee stout, jet black beer in the glass. Let's see if it has got much of a coffee aroma. Oh, yes, really has. Oh yeah, lots of kind of, it's like crunching coffee beans in your hand and sticking it all over your face, your nose and mouth and There's a roasted malt coming through as well, some caramel coming through. It's a little bit vinous, plums and figs and prunes. That's probably got a lot to do with the dry hopping on this beer. Yeah, it smells nice. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. lovely that is lovely stone the crows stone the crows I like a really vinous stout I like it when a stout has got lots of plum and fig and prune then then a massive backlash of roasted malt just just hits you and you can feel the the bitterness here on the back of the palate just oh beautiful Bottle conditioned as well. Look at that. Look at the condition. Look at the sediment there floating around. Making its way there to the bottom of the glass. So that's going to help with the second fermentation process. Um, the brewer will let some of the yeast from the brew enter the bottle. Maybe use maybe a touch of prime in sugar. Um, that last bit of sugar gets eaten up by the yeast and then creates carbonation, the, the, the natural way to carbonate a beer. Uh, the way they've been carbonating beer for, for thousands of years. Um, oh, pardon me. But it's got a lovely rich mouthfeel. Some chocolate, coffee, caramel flavors mixed with that big vinous feel I was talking about earlier. And just a creamy denseness I like. I think they may have used oats in this beer. Uh, it doesn't say. But I imagine there's a, a little bit of oat. Uh, it's all in the Netherlands language, so I, I'm unable to, to translate that. But uh, I'm sure there's oats in the beer. And then them oats are 
They make the beer really lovely mouthfeel, creamy, dense, thick, rich, sticks on the palate a little bit longer. That then, as the beer stays on the palate a little bit longer, you've got taste buds all down the back of your throat, on the top of your tongue, bottom of the tongue, top of your mouth. And it, it just sticks there for a little longer. And, and you get a real kind of sense of the beer and a real sense of the flavour, a little touch of tobacco smoke and caramel. And yeah, it's wonderful. What a lovely beer. I love beer. I really love beer. And I'm saying this very quickly. It's the 17th of March 2020. I may not be posting this video for a little while, but uh, we all know what's going on in the world at the moment. Um, it's a bit of troubled. Well, it's more than a bit of troubled times. Um, I love this stuff. I really do love this stuff. This stuff kind of soothes my brain. Um, it makes me very social. Um, I love the flavour of the taste. I love every aspect of beer. Um, I love talking to brewers. Uh, it's just, yeah. Um, everybody out there with this message going out on the or with me recording this video on the 17th of march 2020 everybody out there stay safe enjoy yourselves enjoy a beer if you can uh let's hope that let's hope that everything's still here in a few months time rating i like the beer enough to give it a stone the crows, 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 from Real Old Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.